good morning guys welcome back to the channel it's a new day we are headed to take our box back to i don't know ups yeah ups so we're going to ups to take our box back obviously i got an appointment today so this they can just laser this off and um this is my what session is this and this is your second session this is my second session um i paid for a total of 10 sessions so i'm excited to see how that journey goes but yeah y'all like i said we're gonna take this box by the ups um we were thinking breakfast this morning but we're not gonna do breakfast because it's what it's already lunchtime yeah we're not, we might as well get lunch might as well get lunch it's lunchtime um i don't i think this mic is kind of like staticky i hope not i hope i'm using it correctly so if you guys hear the hear the video and it's staticky, please forgive me. We just got these mics. We still are not comfortable with using them yet, but hopefully the audio of the video sounds great. We had a very festive weekend. We chilled with some family. I chilled with them like all weekend, and we just had a blast. We chill every weekend, honestly. I know we be on on some good vibes type shit. all the time, like. Nobody but, on the other stuff, but we, we've been chilling heavy, y'all. We also, um, you know, I wanted to get on here and uh, discuss some things with you guys. And, uh, sorry, my... We all look rough. We look we rough. Look rough. <laughs> but um, I wanted to discuss some things with you guys. I uh, wanted to share some news with you guys. Because I think it's important that um, I share this news. And we, wait, we're going to come back and we're going to tell you what the news is. Okay, we need to get things situated before we tell you guys yeah, this yeah. news. So hang tight. If you're already liking the video, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down below. Drop your comments down below. Let us know how we're doing. And welcome to the family. If you already are a part of the JK fam, we appreciate yes. you. We love you. Thank you guys for rocking with us. Welcome to Cat and Jazz TV. Y'all, we got the samosas right here. Today, I want to give a shout out to HPRT for sponsoring this video. HPRT is a label printer that supports multiple size label printing to meet your creativity. As you can see here, I am unboxing the label printer. Inside, you will find the manual, of course, uh, where it lists the instructions as well as the scan code that you'll need to download the free application. You will also find inside the box a charger uh, to be able to charge your printer just make sure that you have a adapter somewhere around your house and here I'm unwrapping the actual label printer and it's a beauty I must say inside it already comes with printing paper that you can utilize uh, for your first time maybe you want to you know just test out a few labels before you actually use the one you want they do have different sizes so not to worry there but here I'm showing you guys how to scan the code and download the application that you'll need in order to customize your label in the app there's many different things that you can use uh, as far as stickers icons different fonts so this is basically where I play around with the app just to get myself familiar with the application you just want to see what fits your style some people may use this for organization you want to organize your pantry you can use your label printer to categorize what you're trying to organize um, or maybe you might have a small little business that you want to put these labels on it's all up to you what you would like this for but it is a cool little gadget to have around the house if you guys are interested in getting your own HPRT label printer, check out the description below and click on the link. Alright you guys, let's get back to the video. Cheese and all.
Y'all, so we just came out of the um, the Indian restaurant. When I tell y'all that food was fucking amazing, it was delicious. Like, I've never, I haven't had some good food like that in a very, very long time. Like, restaurants usually fall out after a certain amount of time. But this restaurant, baby, <laughs> good as hell, <laughs> okay? So, um, right now, I'm um, taking this car to get detailed because it's been quite a long time. So, I need to get this car cleaned. And um, I'm going to make sure that they detail it here as well. And I, I like it when it smells good in your car. You just feel good. The house, luckily, Jazz cleaned the house yesterday, y'all. When I tell y'all that house smells beautiful, she did a great, phenomenal job. And then just having like that clarity of a clean space really gives you like, oh my God, like I can think, I can do more, you know? And having a clean car is one of those things too. Like for me in particular, I love having a clean space, you know? So we're about to, uh, oh, sorry y'all. We're about to go ahead and clean this, get this car cleaned. Um, and then they can detail it cause not me. No. And um, after that, we got the appointment that we got to make, um, which is the laser hair. I also got laser hair removal because your girl is very, I got a lot of hair, y'all. <laughs> I got a lot of hair and one of the areas that I get it is like right on the corner of my lip. And I'm like, who? Oh, cool. Mustache where? <clears throat> I don't want a darn mustache. Like, no ma'am. <laughs> no. <laughs> um so yeah so after that i don't know what we're gonna do after that but we definitely have some news today to share with y'all so please stay tuned we'll tell y'all we'll some soon. point in this vlog we're gonna tell y'all i'm not gonna make no promises because we gotta find the right time at some point of this video all right catch you guys soon i know for y'all some of y'all this little part is satisfying because I know for me, <laughs> I know it's satisfying as hell. So look at the pretty colors. Yeah, it's clean as well. Okay. Make sure I still got a car after this. <laughs> discussing the elephant in the room <laughs> which is are we ready to be parents <sighs> do you think we're ready I think we're ready it's been 10 years it's been 10 years well this is a vegan grilled cheese yards together I feel like 10 years or relationship wise it's a little different when it comes to parenthood because it's a whole baby coming into this world so it can either make or break your relationship however do you think that we have a foundation to sustain a baby and maintain our relationship yeah um if a baby break up a relationship sorry if a baby break up your relationship, if it's never strong, 
to begin with. Your foundation was already weak. Right. To begin with. So I feel like we don't went through stuff. So I feel like our foundation, we don't went through our little rough path. So our foundation now is getting it's better. So I <coughs> so, so I think um a baby will not break. Okay. Mm. So, I'm going to ask a few questions. We're going to help answer those questions. And you guys can put in the comment section what you guys think about your questions, your answers. And if this was a question to be asked to you, where would your head be at? You know, what would your thoughts be? This is the first question. Do you think it's important that <clears throat> there's a balance, some sort of understanding on who is going to discipline the baby? Yeah, we got to be on the same page because you got to think about it. Like, you got to have a balance so there won't be any confusion. You don't want to teach your child miscommunication at a young age. Right. So you got to be on the, the same page as far as discipline actions. I agree. I think that... You have to be on the same page with your spouse on, you know, if somebody's stepping in and disciplining, the other one shouldn't interrupt. Yeah, what one parent says, the other one, if it makes sense, then yes. You know, come to, it has to make sense mm -hmm. in order for you to discipline your child. Do you believe in abuse as far as like, not abuse, let me switch that yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, switch it up. But you know, not abuse, but like maybe hitting your child in the hand or, you know, old culture, they used to beat with belts just to discipline. I don't believe in violence. I would rather take something like, let's say they like to watch TV or they like to play a game or something that they like to do and enjoy. I would take it away to say, yep, yeah, you know, you did something bad. You don't get it. To do this, me too. Yeah, I don't believe in violence, abuse, anything of that. I feel like taking away things is perfect, mm -hmm. and I don't like them. I'm not about to negotiate with my kid. Yeah, are you kidding me? I I be seeing parents negotiate with their children. I'm like, what are you doing? Now, what I would do, other than you know, show them, hey, um, taking away stuff. I would actually have them do like a chore, chore or something that they have to work now because of the consequence. Like, I'm not just taking away stuff. Now, now you have to go ahead and wash the dishes or now you gotta go ahead and, you know, clean your room or whatever the case is. Cause making them work through that. They're gonna that, do that anyway though. Yeah, they're gonna do that anyway. But making them do that through something that's a consequence also builds character in my opinion you know i think that's important or maybe writing a letter like an i'm sorry letter about what i have done so they can reflect on the things that they need to change and how they can change their behavior moving forward i think those would be a few things that i would utilize you're gonna be a good writer too exactly that exercises that, the brain it does what are your thoughts on the first time being parents and there's a lot that comes with that. Like the baby's crying, like mm -hmm. will we take turns getting up? Like Yeah. We already do everything together as it is. We gotta take turns. It's fair, it's only fair to take turns. And you should want to make sure your your child is good, you know, because you don't want them to be like uncomfortable, feeling any type of discomfort. As far as feeling hungry, uh dirty diaper. Right. Sort, you know? right. I think it is important because at first, you know, since um, a baby, it would be me who would carry. So I feel like the first few times I'm going to be coming out of labor and all that stuff. So I'm going to need a lot of support in the beginning while I'm getting situated and acclimated to, you know, what the baby brings. So just having that support system of like, okay, let me get up, I know she, she needs to do X, Y, Z, like, just being considerate, 
you know? Mm -hmm. I think that's important. Um, what are some things that you think are gonna strengthen you by having a child? Like, what are some characteristics you want? My, my own child, patience. Mm -hmm. um, I can discipline my child the way I want to. I can have, I don't wanna make the answer difficult. Um, my patience level. I feel like it gotten better over the years, but like still certain areas need to be tightened up as far as my patient level goes. But yeah, definitely have more patience, you know. I think patience and solution making are gonna be real critical mm -hmm. for you. Cause a lot of times, you know. Oh, you solution making is that? Yeah. Finding solutions on your own that you're gonna have to do while probably I'm not gonna be around. You know, mm -hmm. like what do I do if he or she, the baby gets into something and then, or as a kid, maybe they call you from school, they don't call me, they don't reach me. Like, what are your decision makings? You know, that would be something that you'll have to think on your feet. Like, what should I do in this circumstance? So, <clears throat> a lot of times I've been the decision maker, like, oh, I do this, I look for solutions, but now it's gonna take a lot from from you to kind of jump into that role, you know? Mm -hmm. I think for me, if I was to go through that, um, I would be like, patience, I, I feel like I have patience. So I don't- You have a lot of patience. You have a lot of patience. I feel like patience is not something that I question. I feel like organization, when it comes down to it, I'm very organized when it comes to certain things. Me? So. Mm -mm. <clears throat> I feel like those things take a part. And um, I've been starting to cook a lot, so at home, so that's a plus. So I feel like it's a good question for me, like what would change or what things would I have to get acclimated to? And uh, I don't have an answer yet. You know, I don't have an answer. I think that once I go through it, I'll probably understand like what what parenthood means for me, you know, what what characteristics I develop. Why do you want a baby? Great question. Why do I want a child? Because it's like, you know, you add on to another addition, addition to the family, to finally raise something that, you know, is a part of us. I feel like that would be cute. Then see you as a mom. That would be cute. For me, why would I want a baby? <clears throat> I think I would want a baby because I have something to love. Call your own. I want somebody, like a mini me, number one. I want somebody that lives on with my legacy and uh, has an opportunity. I have an opportunity to look at this beautiful child and, and raise it and love it so much. And they will love me back. And I don't know. I just want that intimate. There's a lot of people say that um, there's nothing like having a child you know so I want to experience motherhood and um, I kind of had that role of you know I I myself those people that actually know me know that I'm very nurturing I'm very caring and I often have that mo motherly kind of love in some way so I kind of want to have my own just to express that love that I know I can give you know so mm -hmm. I think that's the reason I would really want a child is just to uh, to have something to love and raise and call my own, you know? Um, put it much, put it much. Where do you think we are financially? We raise, it's a, they say it takes $250,000 to raise a child. <laughs> I think um, financially we've gotten better at managing our finances. You know, before... Um, I wasn't taught, I didn't grow up with someone telling me, hey, this is how you manage your finances, or hey, be careful, your credit is impor it's important. They only told us, get a job. Okay, yeah. get a job, then what? Um, I didn't know about investments and things like that, like back then. So now in the, in the mind space and in my certain, you know, time frame right now where I am in life it's really it's really helped me and understand like how to manage my money how to budget how to you know put my money in the right areas so that in the future I'll be set in the future I will also have 
great things for my child because my child's gonna have <laughs> money you know? and all that knowledge and the knowledge all the knowledge yeah so um from a young age it's gonna stem from a young age to the point where he's gonna be like or he or she's gonna be like oh i love this you know mm -hmm. so i feel like now financially we're good you know we weren't like this prior it took years to get here but we we're good like i could probably say that oh yeah and a lot of changes are coming within the year um we're gonna see a lot of things that we are not saying yeah we're not saying anything right now but there's a lot of things in in fruition and um i feel like time will tell time will see we'll we'll be able to bring forward all the things that we've been working so hard for so Sometimes you gotta sacrifice. You gotta sacrifice spending time with people, sacrifice, you know, going to attend certain events just so that you can make it to that next level. So I feel like we've been sure. doing that. Now, how do we feel about school for our kid? Public school, private school? I've uh, had my thoughts of homeschool. Me too. Um, the reason being is that I can be more involved in their learning. I can be more involved in... We can actually teach them stuff. Yeah, like actually break it down, be more in tune of what my kid is also good and not good at and where I can help more so they can kind of exercise their brain and I would have that attention one-on-one, -on -one, you know? Um, it will require a lot of me though because I would have to be there. Um, so homeschooling is my preference but if I did not have the time to homeschool or could not private school I would be at private school mm -hmm. I think private school would be it I went to a private school when I was younger um, I attended two private schools elementary and high school and um, well half a high school because the other half I was in a public school but um my experience were not bad. It was an intimate classroom. It was very small. Um, we Everybody knew each other. And I feel like the teachers did a really great job in teaching materials like one-on-one -on -one more closely. They paid attention to what you're good at and what you're not, and they were there to support us. So private school was definitely, it's also not. Now the baby, child care. What are our thoughts about child care? <clears throat> So my thoughts on child care is we're going to have to develop a strategy, whether I'm going to work from home or we switch schedules like, you know, one of us will have to work at night, one of them in the mornings, you know, and we'll have to rotate, which is up in the air. So that, that will be something more to think about because I don't want to put my child in child care. I don't want it in a, what do they call it? A daycare? Daycare, sorry. Mm -hmm. I couldn't find the word. Yeah. Daycare. In a daycare. I feel like daycare is, it's kind of scary the world we live in now. So, mm, I don't know what's happening in there. Are they teaching my child? Are they giving them just electronics um, all day long just to keep them occupied? Are they taking care of their hygiene? Are they eating properly? There's just so many questions when they're in child in somebody else's hands. Like, I want my child to be, you know, attended to. So, so I got a question. This probably probably wasn't on one of your lists. Okay. Is your child going to be vegan? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. My child will not. It, it's crazy that people think that a, a kid can die or be vegan. <coughs> mm -mm. Or be malnourished. No. No. Got I've watched vegan. tons and tons and tons of videos on vegan kids. Vegan And they are children. in great health. Great health, great skin, great energy. Um, they have a lot of clarity, not a lot of fog in their brain, brain you know, like I would not want my kid. That's why I would be more involved in the kitchen, making sure that I'm cooking, I'm clean, like I'm doing everything that I need to do to make sure my, my child has breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And, you know, I make them meals that 
are similar to outside kids. You know, like if they if they see, oh, pizza, I'll make you a vegan pizza. You know, like, um, oh, hot dogs, I'll make you a vegan hot dog. Things like that that they see outside, they will not miss. I will make sure that they're there. Now, as they get older. It's up to them. It, yeah. It's going to be their choice if they want to continue being a vegan or they want to branch out and explore on their own. That's their choice. It's their body. But as long as they're small and I can manage their eating, I will make sure that they get everything they need <laughs> through veganism. Yeah, so. or, plant, or whole foods, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, they, we still got, vegans got a lot of good stuff. Yeah. I mean, and there's processed foods, non-processed foods. But now, all vegan stuff isn't good for you. Right. So, Which we've learned that lesson many times. Yeah. So, I think it all depends on what is good for your kid. At the end of the day, your kid has to be a priority. So, you know. The time is near. Near. Y'all got to stay tuned. Figure out what's going on next. But the time is near. It's in the work. It's in the work. So, yeah. Um, overall, rate us and let us know how you feel about our answers down in the comments section. What are you and guys? don't be biased either. Don't be like, if you believe that our kids should be non-vegan, I don't want to hear all that. Like, you got to, opinion is opinion. I feel like everybody has the right to uh, yeah, raise their child how <laughs> no, they feel. Exactly. There's not a manual out here specifically to how to raise a child. Because if it was, I won't be seeing certain stuff that I've seen now. I won't just want to leave it on the So, I feel like, yeah, at the end of the day, everybody has the right to do what they want with their child and raise them to the best of their ability because nobody's given a handbook. So nobody um, everybody try to be the best parents they think they are. Yeah. So So at the end of the day it's that's fair enough. Everybody tries their hardest and do their best when it comes to their kids, you know? Mm-hmm. So all in all, are we ready to be parents? <laughs> That's not for you to decide. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, that is up, you know, that's up to us to decide. I think that <clears throat> it's been a long time. It is 10 years in the world. 10 years, and we waited. And we waited a long time. So. It's been great. Yeah. So. 10 years, baby. We'll document our journey once we begin that journey and go from there.